Hello, my name is Dr. Gilbert Tang. I'm the new editor in chief of Jack Case Reports and an interventional surgeon at the Mount Sinai Health System in New York. On behalf of our editorial board, I'm very excited to present to you our inaugural issue on August 7 of the Jack Case Reports. This is a very exciting time for our journal. We'd like to thank our predecessors for taking this journal from infancy to now a robust cardiovascular journal for everyone, by everyone. We hope that you liked our first issue highlighting various topics important in cardiovascular medicine. And I would also like to highlight some of the things that we will offer to you in the upcoming issues. First of all, we're very excited to let you know that our diverse editorial board and associate editors, as well as deputy editors. They have a variety of expertise, geographical background, and career stages really encompassing the entire spectrum of cardiovascular practice. I'd like to tell you more about our journal in a few points. First, we now have expanded our scope of submissions for you, the authors. Not just case reports or vignettes or case series, we have now introduced new categories where you can submit to our journal. We have a teaching section called how we did it. We want you to submit to us a teaching case, whether it's a simple straightforward case or a complex one. We want you to teach our audience all around the world how to do the procedure in your way, as well as provide us with a list of equipment and other instruments or tools so that our authors can also reproduce the procedure. We have a new section called First in Human or Early Reports. We want you to share with us one of the first experiences at your center that you want to publish with us. And it's not just procedures, but also diagnostics, pharmacotherapeutics, or even new finding. We also have beyond the guidelines. As you know, a lot of our practitioners out there face patients that don't follow conventional guidelines. So we wanna hear from you how you come to these decisions in these complex patients. Debates and controversies, we want to hear about them. If you have a patient that you have diverging viewpoints in your practice among your team, we wanna know about it and you can describe to us how you come to consensus despite having these diverging views. We have a new section called mini reviews. These are contemporary mini reviews, not a comprehensive one, on salient topics that is case-based so that the authors uh, can present to us, the readers, about the latest in the literature. So rather than going through exhaustive lists of references that you need to look up online. We also have the four corners. These four corners represent the pillars of cardiovascular medicine. We have the diagnostic challenge, and this is not just the previous EKG challenges, but also imaging challenges. Also, we have the clinical vignettes where you present us figures or videos highlighting salient features of a case. We have the Da Vinci anatomic corners where you talk about anatomy and also powerful clinical correlations. And we also have the cardiovascular team corners where our advanced practice providers share with us how they come to decisions in the context of a cardiovascular team. We also like to offer you viewpoints and voices in cardiology such that you can also tell us your perspective in your practice and can be essay type, personal experience, either as a patient or practitioner. There are also other exciting things I want to tell you about Jack Case Reports. One is that we are expanding our collaborations. We're not just collaborating within the ACC, but also beyond with various scientific conferences around the world, professional societies, and also different multidisciplinary teams. By doing so, we want to encourage authors from around the world, wherever they are, through scientific proceedings to submit to our journal. And we will have highlight with these special issues uh, coming up, and we're very excited to bring that to you. We'll also bring special mini focus or special issue call for papers. So for example, we just had a record-breaking submissions on cardiac masses to our journal, highlighting a variety of interest in terms of cardiac masses, 
not just native, but could be foreign bodies or anything that you come across in your practice. We also have a special rheumatic heart issue coming up. Uh, and also now we're gonna next year, hopefully have a heart and brain special issue, congenital heart issue, and anything that would bring our authors to be able to submit to our journal and share with our readers. The other thing that we're very excited to bring to you is we're going to expand our collaboration within the Jack family of journals. We are not a niche for specialty specific journal. We are a journal for the entire spectrum of cardiovascular medicine. So it's a golden opportunity for us in Jack Hayes reports to collaborate with specialty journals within the Jack group, such as Jack Interventions, Jack EP, Jack Imaging, Jack Cardio Oncology, Jack Advances, and others. I've been very fortunate to start my own tenure as Editor-in-Chief with the Jack Editor-in-Chief, Professor Harlan Crumbles. And together, we also collaborate with Jack to have our offers contribute to articles across the entire Jack group. Now, social media and digital media are increasingly important in the dissemination of medical information. And we know that some of the authors out there, such as yourself, may have posted a very interesting case on digital and social media. We want to hear about them. Submit to us. Take a shot. We'll be more than happy to review and also promote your article. We're in the process of recruiting social media and digital media editors and ambassadors. If you're interested in promoting the work of cardiovascular medicine all around the world, particularly of our authors, please let us know. You can find me on Twitter and LinkedIn. In summary, we are very excited to take Jack Case Reports to a new and exciting level by increasing our collaboration across a wide range of disciplines, increasing our submissions through collaborations with scientific meetings and professional societies, as well as fellows in training, as well as cardiovascular team practitioners. We are also very excited to broaden the scope of submissions to make the journal more enriched in content. We look forward to seeing you. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We look forward to your submission. Thank you.